Hello everyone, welcome back to Freshes Now. Well, this video is going to be a little bit unique for you because I am well aware that most of you out there haven't heard about SharePoint Developer. This video we are going to discuss about how they are being placed, what it is required for you to become a SharePoint Developer and what do they do and how are they paid in India in major other cities as well. So with that note, we will be now heading over to the definition part. A SharePoint developers design SharePoint servers, develop procedures to improve business functions and also they would be recommending solutions. Now in this, they would be right from the documentation to the portals, workflows and other patterns. Everything has to be taken care of a SharePoint developer. This SharePoint developer has an add-on which is taking up the business analytics point of view where they would be documenting and also having their customization report over that particular project. So with that note, according to their client's needs and other preferences, they would be further customizing their workflow and also further presenting them. To make it more effective, we would be now heading over to the features part. Just to give you an example, these SharePoint developers would be eventually knowing or customizing the workflows, the patterns, knowing about the preferences and also they would be creating the site templates. All of this as an individual in a SharePoint developer or considered to be a SharePoint developer, this individual would be knowing up into having all these features into the action. The work action consists of all of these features with that note. I think you have been much aware as to what they will be doing now. So without going into the deeper section as to what are the skills required to become, you should be confident enough into stepping into this. So in order to be confident, you should be knowing how they are being paid. The first priority or the first criteria as to how that person or any person who is stepping into the career path needs to be much more confident is knowing about their pay scale. So, on an average basis in India, a SharePoint developer is being paid 5,80,000 per annum. Now, don't just stick on to this number blindly because this is just taken on an average basis from the source pay scale website. If you want further details, please head over to the website and read all the details on your own. So, to mark up a little more, you would be knowing how the professional career graph going to be. So, starting of year 1 to year 4, you can see that there is a not a high rise in the professional graph. However, from the 4th year to over 10 years, you can see there is an immediate rise of the professional life. So, eventually, as the graph depicts, you can see that the rise itself indicates that there is a growth in the pay as well. With the right set of skills to be implemented, you would can be eventually landing up on a position where they would be paying you higher than the average pace. So, with that note, let's look over to how major cities are paying. We would be knowing how location-wise pays are for a SharePoint developer so that you would be able to get an idea as to how you yourself can be paid in the future as well. Hence forward, you can know how to brush up your skills and be much more efficient. The first place we are going to look into is Mumbai. As we all know, Mumbai is going to be or is already a marketplace for many opportunities. 4,53,000 is the pay scale for a SharePoint developer. The next place is going to be Bangalore. Bangalore, a major networking place for opportunities and also for many career opportunities. SharePoint developers there are placed with 6,35,000 per annum. Almost reaching out to the average pace when we take the whole country itself. Hyderabad from the south, a place where it is considered to be a market of various other networks and also various other companies startups you can see that 4,94,000 is the pay for a SharePoint developer. Major companies 
need this SharePoint developer in order to know the customization skill and also to put their workflow into the customization of the client as well. So with regard, Pune is also paying 5 lakhs 12,000 almost heading over to the average pays in India. Heading over to next space which is Noida, 6 lakhs around is the pay scale for a SharePoint developer. So with that note, you might be having a view rare point as how they are being paid. So eventually, even if you are on a junior level position or, or at an entry level job itself, you can consider yourself marking up with the right skills and then heading over to the right place. So heading over to the right place needs to have a near target. So the mere target you would be knowing as to how the companies are actually paying these SharePoint developers. So with that note, we would be heading over to how companies are paying. The first company is TCS, which we all look into. TCS is paying 6,85,000 per annum, which is a good start off. And next it's Tech Mahindra, which is 8,50,000, a highest range of pay for all the SharePoint developers. And Infosys, 6 lakhs per annum again. All these pays are going to be on an average basis. Again, these are almost outreaching all of the average pays which all the major cities have covered. Cognizant, 6 lakhs 30,000 per annum. And Accenture is paying 10 lakhs per annum. So that is the highest uh, exposure or the highest paid for a SharePoint developer. So you can look forward for yourself in landing there if you are having the right set of skills. The next company that we are heading is Wipro, 5,77,000 reaching out to the average pays again. And then we have landed now into the skills part, which is the most essential one where you would be knowing as to how business analytics, the add-ins and also the other features come into action when you know the implementation of these skills. Web development, Microsoft Azure, C++ programming language, VB.NET, Microsoft Office, Microsoft SharePoint servers, .NET SQL servers, C Sharp programming language, ASP.NET frameworks. Now, not just knowing the programming language, the most important thing in implementing all of these is knowing about the patterns and also the various other trends that are evolving with the in technologies so that you would be eventually developing as to how you can make your project or make that particular network much more effective and bring a productive solution out of it so that is how you need to know the implementations of these skills next is what does this person actually do SharePoint is a platform which is going which is or developed by a Microsoft for supporting teams working in web based environment. It also consists of various other tools to help teams collaborate and also support easy versioning so that the changes that are made in group documents that can be tracked over time. So in this part you can eventually see that there are only two major words that has to be implemented one which is documentation, two which is reporting. So with this right set of note or with this taking up of responsibilities on a priority basis, your parameters will be rightly set in order to do your task in an effective manner. The next set we are going to look into is how you can become one. Not only just the skills part to put into action, you would be also knowing what are the different other criteria which are essential to reach those parameters. You should have extensive knowledge of C Sharp, ASP.NET and .NET frameworks, patterns and various other trends which are further emerging. Familiarity with JavaScript, HTML5, CSS and other web services should have high level coding skills and also you should be able to solve complex software issues which are going to be further headed. So that is all which is going to be aligned with. In alignment to this, there are other job roles that you have to consider for you to be well aware of before stepping into this particular career. Meeting with the design team to review the website and other the application requirements because the criteria of this role also requires to create templates. Templates for the site is going to be the criteria role of the 
SharePoint developer developing new web components using uh, XML .NET SQL and C sharp is going to be the technology perspective and technology progression then designing coding and implementing scalable application is going to bring you the documentation or the reporting part where you would be analyzing all of this and you are going to give the company or the client a user friendly basis in order to understand a user friendly concept you should be able to be well aware of various other frameworks and other networks which are going to be aligned with this so this is how it is going to go if you are stepping into a sharepoint developers role if you have further questions or if you have further opinions about this feel free to put it down in the comment section as well as do share it with your friends whoever are looking forward to sort out their careers and also for more videos like this regarding careers consider subscribing and you would be much more sorted enough to step into a very good professional life thank you so much for watching and stay tuned